hello out there welcome to this tutorial on circle geometry in this video we'll be looking at tangent from an external point theorem the tangents from an external point are equal so we consider the diagram in this diagram uh, we have a circle center o ap and AQ are tangents to the circle at P and Q respectively. Since tangent from an external point are equal, A is the external point. We therefore say AP, this AP is equal to AQ. So we now go ahead to solve some problems as related to this theorem. Problem 1. In the diagram, P and Q are two points on the circle center O such that the reflex angle POQ is 210 degrees. The tangent at P and Q meet at M. Calculate PMQ. PMQ. We have to calculate this uh, angle. If the radius is 3 centimeters, find OM. So we have to find this OM. So we take it one after the other. So starting from calculating PMQ. Um, if we can calculate this angle, we know this angle to be 90. This is 90. We'll be able to calculate this fourth angle. So the obtuse angle POQ is 360 degrees minus 210 degrees which gives 150 degrees the reason being angles at a point then we go ahead to see that angle OPM OPM is equal to OQM POQM is a kite since this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees so that will give us a 90 degrees because o p which is a radius is perpendicular to pm and uh, also oq another radius is perpendicular to qm so from here we can calculate this uh, angle pmq so angle PMQ will be 180 minus 150 degrees since this plus this plus this is 360 and this is 1990 that is sum of angles of a quadrilateral so PMQ is 30 degrees so angle PMQ this angle is 30 degrees so we are done with the first part of the problem we go to the second part of the problem it says if the radius is 3 centimeters find om so we need to join o to m so that the radius is 3 centimeters this is the radius here 3 centimeters we said this is uh, 90 degrees since this line om is line of symmetry we see that this angle will be divided into two so that angle OMP is 15 degrees. So we said angle PMO is 15 degrees since OM is a line of symmetry. We are going to apply trigonometric ratios of angles. So this is a given angle. Here is opposite. And we are looking for hypotenuse that sign 15 degrees is equal to opposite 3 over om that is the line we are looking for making om the subject of the relation we have uh, 3 over sine 15 degrees and the value of sine 15 degrees is 0 0.2588 so from our calculator we have it as 11.59 centimeters so that's the end of solution to problem one then we go ahead to problem two for problem two 
in the diagram the tangent from a touch the circle center o at x and z x y and y z are chords of the circle if angle x y z is 66 degrees calculate angle x a z x a z um this angle at the circumference is connected to the angle at the center here we're going to borrow from our previous theorems on circle geometry angle at center is twice angle at circumference so this is an uh, obtuse angle so we say obtuse angle x o z is 66 times 2 which is angle at center is twice angle at circumference this is 132 degrees so this angle is 132 degrees um since ax and az are tangent from x center point ax and az are equal and this angle here is 90 this is 90 axo is equal to azo which is 90 degrees because ox is perpendicular to ax and oz is perpendicular to az so from here now we have the angle there 90 degrees 90 degrees so this is a kite again to calculate angle xaz we say 180 minus 132 degrees since this is already 90 and the sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees so we have a uh, angle x is to be 48 degrees and that's the end of solution to problem 2 we go to problem 3 for problem 3 in the diagram pr is a diameter of the circle pqr PR is the diameter, the circle center O. AP and AQ are tangents. AP and AQ are tangent. If angle PRQ is 68 degrees, PRQ 68 degrees, find the value of X. We need to study the diagram very well. And since these are tangent from external point, we have an isosceles triangle here. If we can get any of these base angles, we we'll get the value of x. But remember from here to this place is perpendicular, that is 90 degrees. Wow, this is diameter angles in a semicircle. This is PR is the diameter, so this angle is 90 degrees. That's angle in the semicircle. From there, we'll be able to calculate this, this, and this. Right, so we start. We say angle PQR, PQR is 90 degrees angle in a semicircle. We've established that, so we can calculate this angle Q. PR QPR which is 90 minus 68 degrees 12 degrees that is sum of angles of a triangle this is 90 so these and these are complementary angles so we have it as 12 degrees since we've gotten this angle here we can go ahead to calculate this angle since OP is perpendicular to AP. So we say angle APQ is 90 minus 12 degrees. That's 68 degrees since OP is perpendicular to AP. As the angle there is 90 degrees. So we also see that APQ, this angle is equal to AQP that is tangent from external point so from there we can calculate the value of X to be 180 minus 2 times 68 degrees angles of isosceles triangle and that gives 
44 degrees and that's the end of solution to problem 3 and this is the end of this particular tutorial next circle theorem on the next video check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to all the videos on circle theorem i hope you enjoyed it until we meet in the next video goodbye